I mean, this is a system developed by Bombardier, accessible on the internet, and this system is giving the possibility for an operator, an operator, for instance, having asked to Bombardier to do the maintenance of its fleet, the operator can monitor where are uh, its own fleet, so where are all the locomotives, for instance, of its fleet, and have a, a look on what could be the next maintenance steps. That means what is the mileage of the locomotive and what are the next maintenance steps to be carried out. So it's a very open system giving different functionalities depending on if you want only to operate your own fleet so then and you give the maintenance to others or there is another possibility for the maintainer to have access on very detailed information concerning all the drawings of the locomotive to order specific parts or to have a look on all the design of the locomotive. So it's very interactive. Yes, could be like this to, to uh, plan the next maintenance uh, steps to be done. This is something that uh, you can have a look on what is the status of the fleet in terms of mileage and understand when will take place the next maintenance intervals. And it's live? It is. Uh, that live, so you're tracking real time. You are tracking real time, exactly. Something with uh, through uh, GPRS, that means GSM phone. Yeah. There is uh, a permanent exchange of information, or you are tracing on real time base what's happening on one part of your phone. This is uh, the purpose of, of the system. Very easy to be monitored, and some things that uh, can be really. Uh, changing depending on your needs, if the need is for the operator, for the maintainer, or for the expert people to get additional information. Once the operator is giving the maintenance to a company like Bombardier, he doesn't need to have this level of details. What he wants to know is where are the assets and what will be the next intervention on his assets. The technical parts are more dedicated to the maintainer and the maintainer has this level of information at disposal with this system, but it's not for the clients, it's more for Bombardier internally. We launched this uh, a few years ago on uh, Trax. Trax is a platform of locomotive of Bombardier, it's a family of locomotive. We have launched that a few years ago on the first locomotive, and from that date, every time that we are selling new locomotive, we add this uh, new fleet on the system and then the clients are capable to have a look on their own fleet and not the fleet, of course, of other operators. For a Transnet locomotive, we will install this for the warranty, for the activities that Bombardier will do during the warranty. And Bombardier will use this system for its own need during the warranty. So it is something that we will first use ourselves and then we will discuss with the client how to eventually uh, transfer to them this tool. What do you think is the key selling point of this product? Selling point? But in reality, it's something that we use for ourselves and we are not really selling this as such. We are selling this as a service within a maintenance package that we are offering. You have the possibility on this system, but once again, this is more for experts to have a look on all the diagnostics information that uh, you can uh, plug when you, you come with your computer on the train. You can have ac remote access of this information. I think that this is really a, a very interesting tool for uh, our clients and very user-friendly. And I think that this is the first step on a new system to develop another system that we have proposed to our client in uh, some countries, which is the remote diagnostics, which is no more the uh, only the access to information, but something to anticipate the maintenance problems. This is another system, but based on this first platform. We show you one application enabling to uh, have a look on a certain fleet, where are the locomotive? This is an operator based in France and Belgium. And then this operator can have a look on where are 
all the different locomotives. If you take this one, which is one locomotive for its, its own fleet, you will see that this locomotive is exactly based between this point and the other point. These are the two last information that we have from this locomotive, you know, and you see exactly the different time slots where the locomotive have been tracked and you know exactly at what time, this is uh, at 2.14, that means just a few minutes ago, this locomotive were based in Saarbrücken, leaving from uh, France and in this we have additional information concerning the mileage of uh, the fleet and so on. And if you extend the information, you will see that you know the time, the train number, the kilometer of the train, the, some information, technical information about the wheels, the version of the software, etc. So this is very uh, useful for the operator because in real time he can have a look on where are the different assets of his uh, own fleet. And this is only one uh, application that we have. We can have a, a look on others. This is the menu, so the operator, as we have said before, the main application are to find where the vehicles are with the GPS, to ask something in real time to the maintainer, that means the operator can be in touch with the maintainer and ask for specific information, and he will have a, a, an, an opening a ticket on this, he will see when the ticket will be closed and when the information will have been treated and uh, managed. And then the operator can also uh, have an idea of what will be the next maintenance steps and when the locomotive will have to enter into a depot and when will be where, sorry, will be the relevant depot to do the intervention. Based on the map, where, what we have seen before, we have to find the closest depot to do the maintenance activity. The other information are more related to maintainer and engineer. And as we have said before, we can have a look with this system on all the information concerning one fleet. We can have a look on uh, the spare parts. With this system, for a dedicated fleet, it's a little bit long because it's a very important uh, download. And you have the spare catalog, for instance for one dedicated uh, locomotive. This is a, a, let's say, a file where you can have a look on all the technical information for relevant information. These are different families of locomotives. Of course, they have different uh, spare part catalog. And just as an example, not to go into details, you will see that you have a very, very uh, comprehensive information concerning the local pair uh, subsystem. And if you click on this, for instance, which is uh, part of the bogey, yeah. you will see that uh, you can have access to all the information concerning this subsystem. So it's really a breakdown of all the technical information concerning one uh, family of uh, local. A diagnostic, this is really something that you will not, uh, we can have a look, but uh, it's not uh, easy to interpret. That means this is exactly the information that the maintainer can have a look on when he's plugging at the depot to download the diagnostic information. And this is a possibility to have an access on remote. And if you open on this, you select the fleet on which you want to, to have a look on. This is valid for Bombardier, of course, is on each client is having a look only on his own fleet, but for Bombardier we have a look, a look on everything. And on this you can access to the information concerning the diagnostic. And you will see the information that the maintainer is seeing at the depot concerning the last problems eventually of, uh, of the load. So this is very important and very interesting because it's remote access of information that usually you have only at the depot.